Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. In this tutorial, we'll see how to turn an image into this really cool vintage halftone effect using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, fantastic. So let's get to it. All right, now before we're gonna start this uh, tutorial, make sure to download this pattern that we'll be using to create this effect. You'll find it down in the link from description below. All right, now let's go ahead and open Photoshop, and then I will take the image I will be using and open it in here. All right, now the first thing that we are going to do is to cut the model from the background. So we'll go ahead and select the, the quick selection tool, and I'm gonna try to make a quick selection. It doesn't need to be a perfect selection, so this way we're gonna use the quick selection tool. Now I will go to select, modify, and I will choose expand. And I will put two in the expand pixels in here and hope it's okay. And this will make the selection expand with two pixels. All right, now we'll go to select again, modify, and I will choose feather. And I will put one uh, in the radius pixel in here and it will be okay. This will make uh, the selection uh, to be smoother a little bit. Now we'll one click on this layer mask icon and as you can see this will apply the selection in the layer mask. Alright, now I'm gonna press Alt and I will one click on this layer mask and I will see if we still have some white outside the, the selection in here. As you can see if I zoom in here, you can see this uh, a little part in here. So we need to delete this. So I will go and select uh, the brush tool and uh, I will use a black color and I will delete this part in here. All right, I think uh, everything in here is good. Now we'll one click outside the layer mask. All right, now we'll right click on this layer mask and I will choose apply layer mask because we don't need the background anymore. All right, now we'll go to adjustment and I will choose solid color and I'm gonna choose a bluish color so we will make it as a new background all right and I will put it under the the model layer in here and I will name it BG for background all right now I will make uh, five copies of this uh, model layer in here so I'm gonna press ctrl J four times one two three four and as you can see now we have five copies of uh, this uh, model layer now we'll go to this uh, first layer and I will name it base and I will go to the next layer and I will name it half thin one and the next layer I will name it half thin two and the fourth layer I will name it stroke and the last layer I will name it glowing edges. All right, so I will make uh, these four layers invisible for now, and I will select the base layer in here, and then I will go to image, adjustment, and I will choose threshold. And I will give it around 130 to 140 threshold in here. So we'll go with 140, and hope it's okay. And then I will uh, put down the opacity around 70%. All right, now I will go to the half turn one layer and then I will go back to image, adjustment and I will choose threshold again. And I will give it uh, around 90 to 80 uh, level threshold in here. So we'll go with 85. All right, and I hope it's okay. All right, now we'll go to the half turn two layer and then I will make it visible and then I will go back to image again, adjustment and I will choose threshold again. And this time we'll give it around 110 level threshold. Alright, and hope is okay. Alright, so I will uh, hide this uh, half turn 2 layer uh, for now. And I will select the half turn 1 layer. And then I will go to select and I will choose color range. And using the sample color in here, I will one click on this uh, white area in here. 
and you can see this will make uh, all this white area detected and I will press ok and you can see this will make uh, a selection of the white area now we'll press alt on my keyboard and I will one click on this layer mask and you can see this will make uh, a layer mask with, uh, with the selected uh, parts in here alright now we'll go to the fill in here and I will put it down to 0% and then I will double click on this half tone one layer and you can see the layer style dialog will open and then I will go to the pattern overlay and now it's the time to load the pattern that we'll be using so I will one click on this uh, drop down arrow in here and then I will go to this gear icon and then choose load pattern and you know just locate the pattern that you download and select it and press load alright now for you to see it like this just one click on this gear icon and make sure that large list is selected and now we, ca we can see the name of the pattern so just make sure to select the half turn one pattern in here and go back and make sure that the scaling is 100% and the opacity is 100% and press ok and you can see this will uh, make uh, this half turn pattern in the black area in here alright now we'll go back to the half turn tool layer and I will make it visible and then I will go to select again and I will choose color range and this time I will sample the black area in here and I will press ok and then uh, while I'm holding alt on my keyboard I will one click on this layer mask icon and as you can see now we have the selection within the, the layer mask and then I will go to the fill and I will put 0% in it next I will double click on, on this layer to open the layer style dialog and then I will go to the pattern overlay and I will open the, the pattern in here and I will choose the half to pattern in here as you can see now we have this really cool look and you can also you know modify the replacements of this pattern by you know one click and drag it the pattern in here and as you can see you can put the pattern wherever you want all right so just we'll move it uh, right here and there will be okay all right now i will uh, select uh, the stroke uh, layer in here and i will make it visible and i will put uh, the fill to zero percent and then I will double click on it to open the layer style dialog and this time I will go to stroke and I will make sure that uh, the position is set to inside and I will put the size around 5 pixel in here but feel free to put whatever size you want and for the color you can choose whatever color you want but I prefer to use white and I will press ok alright now I'm gonna press ctrl T so I can enter the transform mode and then I will uh, take this and drag it down a little bit alright now I will right click on it and I will choose warp and this will allow me to adjust uh, this line to make it look like it's not aligned with uh, the model in here just like this Alright, so something like that, and I will one click on this check mark to commit the change. Alright, so we go to the last layer in here, so I will select it and I will make it visible. And then I will go to image, adjustment, and I will go to desaturate. And as you can see, this will make it to black and white. And then I will make sure that my foreground and background layer is set to default. If, it, if yours is not set to default, just one click on this little uh, one in here or you can press D on your keyboard alright now we'll go to filter and I will choose filter gallery and in the stylized folder just open it and choose glowing edge and let me zoom out to see in here alright now in the, the edge width I put 2 and in the brightness I put 12 and 8 in the smoothness but feel free to experiment with these uh, values in here and I will press ok now I will change the blending mode of this layer to screen and as you can see this will give it this really bright uh, look to it but I will double click on it so I will open the layer style dialog and I will go in the channels in here and I will uncheck the green and the blue channel and as you can see this will make uh, the glowing edges to uh, red and I will press ok 
and if you think this uh, red is a little bit too bright you can always uh, press ctrl l on your keyboard and you know bring the level adjustment and you know darken it a little bit all right something like that and hope it's okay all right so the last step that we're gonna do is in the background layer so i will go and select the background layer in here and i will double click on it and then i will go to the pattern overlay and i will choose this uh, first pattern in here that it said dust and then i will change the blending mode to linear light and hope it's okay and there we go we have this really cool effect i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know show me out on instagram if you try this effect and have a nice day thank you for watching